Hey, it's Anastasia Humpte Happenings. CPR is a must have for dental professionals, healthcare professionals, in order for us to maintain our license. So as my quest went to get recertified in CPR, I found it really difficult, A, to have someone call you back, B, to find an instructor, being a fire department, somebody who could be a nurse or instructs on this as a living, and C, to find a course that fit in my schedule that wasn't weeks out or a full day course for recertification. I went to the American Heart Association and I found out you could do it in two parts. So I wanna share with you, if you're thinking of getting CPR certified, this could be the way for, to go for you. You know, the parts are, it takes about two hours to complete, two, two and a half hours, and there are modules. Each module, you have videos and questions afterwards, and then at the very end is a complete test. 25 questions, and then you get your certificate, you print it out. Take that certificate to an instructor where you can do your hands-on on the adult and child um, dummy so you can you know, show the compressions and what to do with choking, and that way the whole assessment is performed. This could save you some time and it could also help you get your CPR certification in an adequate amount of time that fits your schedule. You know, I thought everybody was CPR certified, but they're not. Here's a few stats for you. 88% of cardiac arrest happens at home. So why not save a life for someone that you care about? Someone that you care about could be your husband, your mom, your dad, sister, brother, any family unit that you've got. Um, it could be a friend, it could be a child, it could be a boss, it could be your patient. So CPR, super important. Let me read this other statistic for you. Let's just say you're on the golf course, you're walking the beach, you could be at the gym, whatever activity or hobby that you're doing. Bystander, being a bystander and, and CPR certified, you could triple the victim's chance of survival, but only 32% of cardiac arrest victims get CPR by bystanders. You know, it's really important to save a life, and this is so easy to do. It's been around since 1740. Something's working. So I encourage you, check out the American Heart Association. Take the two-part test, part one online, part two, find an instructor, and save a life. I'm going to. Until next Wednesday, take what you learn, make a difference with it.